everyone it's been a while since um i have done a video for you all and i do apologize that it has been since last monday i believe or it might have been the week before i don't know but i'm pretty sure it was only last week that i made a video for you and it was my three minute makeup challenge so if you haven't seen it it will be linked in the description box I want to also point out that I'm sorry that it's been such a long time since I've done a video for you all. Um, it's excuse me. It's generally because um, work's been in the way a lot for my um, videos and stuff. Um, I usually only work maybe two days a week, um, but last week I only got one day off because I've been covering for a lot of people and been like really helping out and stuff with the summer, um, the summer and stuff. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to be trying to get back in the swing of things. I know today isn't exactly Makeup Monday, um, but it is Makeup Monday's video. Um, and don't worry, Fashion Fridays are still coming up tomorrow, so don't fret about that. And something's just popping here. Um, but I point out, it's two weeks on Friday that I go to London, and I'm really, really excited. So the week I go away, there won't be any videos, there won't be any blogs or vlogs or anything like that, because... Um, I'm just going to have a relaxing time and just enjoy my holiday and then I'll come back and I can tell you all about it and I'll have hauls for you all to see so that'll be an exciting time. Um, I've had my hair changed as well, um, I've had it freshly dyed and had my fringe cut back in straight and had a couple of inches cut off my hair just to keep my ends healthy and keep it nicely growing and stuff. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to try and quickly get into the swing of things. This week on my blog there will only be two like one on each blog all about my videos for this week um, and hopefully next week touch wood everything will run swiftly as normal and the week after that which will be the week that I'll be going to London um, there will be still two videos that I'll do for the week um, they will be updated like and uploaded and on here for before I go away um, Fashion Friday's video will probably be put up on Thursday so there'll be two vlogs that day and a video up on Thursday. So I want to still get into the, my routine and still give you what you want before I go away. And then when I come back, get straight back into it. And yeah, so I'm going to make a start on the video, which is going to be my beauty um, favourites for August. So I hope you all enjoy and I'll see you at the end. So I'm going to make a start on my products. I'm going to start first of all with... Some bath favourites. Now, I know it's in a Topshop bag, but it's nothing Topshop related. But I have been in love with Lush products. I have two left I need to use. I did have six to begin with, and four of them have already gone. Um, and I'm absolutely in love with these. Oh, I've got stuff all over. No. Brilliant. Right. Well, I'll try and see if I can show you this one if I can. Now, one of the ones I have left is the bath bomb which is called sex bomb and it's pink and purple and it's got like a little rose on the top and that's got jasmine in so it's used for like when you're stressed about things and stuff so but i bought it because it smelled really really good and another lush bath product that i need to use up is one that i can actually use more than once and this was like my favorite one that i was excited to try and it is mm. Amazing. and it is Candy Mountain which is pretty exciting stuff it reminds me of a <coughs> excuse me where the Grinch lives on ever seen the Grinch the film it looks like the the hill thing he lives on is that just me that thinks that still it smells really good um so Lush products have been a big favorite and um, once they um probably go which will be during the time maybe within the next couple of weeks because I don't normally have baths but I like to have them every once in a while and just I've been really loving having them this like lately so I will probably having like using one of them this next week coming and one the week after before I go away and um, so that they'll be finished in time for me for when I go to London because I am planning on going for a bit more of a shop around um, and getting a few more Lush products for um, myself for when I come back so yeah so my next product I have is a hair product and there's only one hair product that I've been loving this month but trust me there's a reason I've been loving it and like everybody should try this product because it's really really good and um, it's by Avon 
and it is their advanced techniques 360 nourishment Moroccan oil. Moroccan argan oil, should I say? And this stuff is phenomenal. I've been using it with my new hair and stuff, and it's just kept it really soft and nourished and just amazing. And it looks like this. I absolutely love it. I know the colour of it isn't exactly lush, but trust me, what it does for your hair is phenomenal. And everybody should definitely get like pick this up. I think it's only um because my mum actually bought it for me. I think it was only about four or five pounds for the thirty mil. Um and I absolutely love it. I don't know if they have any bigger sizes. I'm probably assuming that they will. Um but you guys should totally check them out and grab this product. Another um, beauty favourite I've been loving is something to do with somewhere which some people don't normally talk about and it is to do with your feet. Now, your feet to me are really, really important to keep care of um, as you walk around on them all the time and it's just nice to keep them nice, especially like when you're away on holiday and you're wearing sandals and you've got peep toe shoes on. You really want your, sh your feet to be just really, really nice. So, the product I have bought recently, which I believe was in my recent beauty haul, which I'll link in the description bar if you haven't seen it and it is the Heal Genius Amazing Foot Cream by Soap and Glory um, it's quite a big tub, it's uh, I don't know how many, yeah, 125 mil in there so this could last a great while and it smells awesome hmm. I don't know if I can show you but let's see if it works you see it's quite blue well, it looks white on camera but it's like it's like a bit of a baby blue colour and it smells amazing. Usually you put this on um on a night before you go to bed. Like I usually I have like socks down there which I use and I lit, sit on my bed, I put my cream on, put my socks on and go straight into bed. So I'm not walking around until the cream's really soaking in and so far my feet are feeling brilliant. Um they're getting softer and the dry skin's coming off and they just smell really, really good. So I'm um, thinking about getting some proper, like, they're sort of a bit like Veruca socks. I can't remember what you call them. Um, but I am going to buy a couple of pair from Body, the Body Shop, which I believe it's about £7 for a pair, which I know it's quite a, a lot, but I feel like it's worth it for what it's going to do for my feet. Um, so, yes, there are a few future ideas I have for making this work better. Next favourite is a cleansing, um, cleanser should I say. It's number seven's beautifully balanced puri I'm just dropping it. purifying cleanser um, and this stuff is pretty phenomenal. I've been using it a lot through the month and it's really been having my skin stay nice and I'm really pleased with it. Um, I don't know if I fully explained the story or if you've seen the video where I did explain it um, but I found a few beauty favourites beauty items in my room as I was clearing stuff out and there was stuff that I just haven't seen for years and I've never done you or used for years so I found this and I came across it and I thought you know what I'm going to use this and it's been brilliant I haven't been able to find it anymore so I think it's been discontinued which is a shame because I was hoping I would repurchase it so I'm going to have to find another cleansing cleanser to use. I know I have got my simple one but it doesn't work in the same way. It, that just more is a lotion. It's not really a proper cleanser um, thing. However, I am planning on investing in Bioderma so I want a proper makeup remover because I haven't properly, to be honest, got one. So that's not good people. So I'm going to buy Bioderma which I know you can buy it on Amazon and you can get, I think it's two times the 500 ml um, but also you can get like a thousand mil for about £35 which I think is a really reasonable price for it so I'm willing to invest in it so yes excuse me I've been really loving this product though and I think I'm going to try and find something similar to this because this has just been phenomenal now we're on to makeup favourites so this is probably going to be the longest because the longest sort of thing that always takes up my time in the videos so the first one I have is my MAC Fix Plus um, it's been very refreshing especially in the summer as it's been so warm I can't really show you what it does because at the moment it's clasped up but you basically you turn it around like that and then you spray around your face like this let it sink in and it refreshes your skin really really well um, a lot of people say that like it doesn't 
keep your makeup on or whatever but I feel like it helps to keep it on because your skin's more refreshed so it can stay on your face for longer and that's personally how I feel I'm not 100% sure if it's correct or if it's just me that thinks that but that's personally how I feel when I use the product and um, if I remember correctly I think this is about 20 pound or 19 pounds or something um from obviously the max counter this is 100 ml and as you can see I've only used the tiniest amount so this is going to last me a very very long time so I'm really pleased with this. You can get travel sizes as well, which I'm debating about getting one so I can use it for when I'm at Kyle's or while I'm around at work or anything like that so I don't have to carry around this big thing. So yeah, this has been amazing this month. My next makeup favourite is a foundation. Um, and I've keep rekindling my love for different foundations and like using different ones. But this month I've been loving my Max Factor Face Affinity All Day Flawless Foundation absolutely amazing this phenomenal I absolutely love it Um, it matches my skin tone perfectly Um, I only have to put a little bit of powder on I don't have to put too much so it kind of combines with my skin matches my skin should I say um, but this is really really amazing I don't even know you can't even tell how much product I use but I use this pretty much every day for work um, and naturally I only have one day off last week so I used it six days last week and I've used it for three days this week and I absolutely love it it's amazing and can't go wrong with it and it was brilliant I think it was around the £13 mark but I can't remember then I have a concealer which again like the foundations I'm like mixing matching with my concealers just until I can get some more to try and test out but I've been really interested in using this it's my this is it says collection 2000 because it's quite an old one and it is a cover stick I don't know if they still do these or not but it's in the colour nude which I don't know if it'll come up on here I don't know if I've shared it there, number 11 nude um, but it, you kind of do that like as if it's like a lipstick and then you just pop it on your blemishes and on your dark circles and it's been pretty good. When I bought this, I think it was about a pound or two pounds something. Um, and it's been really, really useful. Um, lately, because I've been getting much sleep, so my dark circles are literally getting worse. So I'm layering the concealer on loads. Um, so I'm really, really liking using this at the moment. Um, it's not going to be something I'll permanently use because it does work really well, but I feel like it clogs my pores up quite a lot. So I probably won't use it for much longer, to be honest. Um, but we'll see how things go. The blusher I've been loving this month has been my MAC Pro Longwear Blush in Rosy Outlook. Um, see if I can show it. Come up. Oh, there we go. And I've been really, really loving this. Um, I bought it when I was in London last time. I'm thinking about <sighs> buying another one. Sorry, I had to blow, but that's what the product looks like. It looks a bit more pinky than what it's coming out on camera, but my camera is a bit bright these days so you'll be able to see in pictures which I've actually with a don't know if that will show sure, but I'm trying to shade it a bit so you can kind of see the colour um looks a bit like that um I don't know if you'll be able to see because it is really, really darn bright. Oh, there we go. So it is like that kind of pink. Um, and then once you blend it in, it goes quite natural and you can't really see it, to be honest. But you build it up, which is what I really, really like about the product. I am planning on buying, like I say, a few more of these when I go down London. I would really like a coral coloured one and a bit more of a brighter pink one than this. So keep your eyes peeled for when these come up, back. Um, these were around £19 each. But trust me... They're going to last a long time. I've used it already a lot this month and a lot since I've bought it, to be honest. And it hasn't so much just touched the sides, to be honest. There's a tiny dip in it now, but nothing too drastic. So I've been loving that. I've been loving two lipsticks this month. One of them I'm currently wearing, which is one I'm going to show you now. And I'm absolutely in love with this colour. And it is um, Max Creme Cup in the Cream Sheen. 
been really, really loving this lipstick. Um, I wasn't so sure about trying a cream sheen one, but I'm really glad I did, and I really, really like it. I'm gonna try different colours in different other sort of styles of the like the make of the lipstick. So like, I usually get matte lipsticks. Um, but this is my first one where it's not matte. Um, and I'm definitely gonna get like I say maybe a lustre and a frost and really get into them and really start using them. So I love these. Just in love with them. Then my last makeup beauty favourite and my last beauty favourite for the month is another lipstick and it is a Topshop lipstick. Now I like to wear Topshop lipstick when I'm at work for advertisement reasons. Um, but I have been really loving wearing this one for work and it is the colour Macaroon. I keep rekindling my love for these but they're just amazing. Amazing colour. Love it. It's very coral. It was my first ever real coral lipstick I picked up. And I'm really glad I picked up. I absolutely love this. And I recommend it for anybody to be honest. So everybody get your hands on one of them. I'm thinking about getting some more Topshop makeup while I'm down London because I know they'll have more choice there. So keep your eyes peeled for that everybody um, when it comes up in the hall when I come back in. Well it'll probably be about three weeks from now because I have to come back Thursday the 19th so you guys will be able to check out what i am bought and stuff so I hope you all look forward to that. And that's the end of my favourite. I hope you've all enjoyed um, watching my beauty favourites for the month. I've got like a lovely little collaboration over there next to me um, where you all can see. So I'm gonna let you go to be honest. So tomorrow's video, which is really weird to say because it's normally this video should be going up on Monday but it's not. It's going up on today which is Thursday. But tomorrow is going to be my fashion favourites for the month. So I hope you all check those out and give a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Thumbs up. Oh, this one's a bit weird. Um, and subscribe if you'd like to see more of my future videos. Also, I don't know if anybody in my area has been sent one of these in the post. Um, it's all about a fashion show at one of our like close town centres. And it's on on the Saturday, the 7th of September, 11 till 3. Um, if I'm off work, I'm thinking about going over so I can blog about it and vlog about it so you guys can check out how it was. Um, there's um, mini makeovers, beauty freebies, prizes and loads more to see. So it's on for about four hours. So I'm, I am, if I'm off work, I am debating about going to check it out. So um. If you're anywhere near my area, this is by the way going to be in Hartlepool, Middleton Grange. So if anybody's watching this and you're probably going to try and go along as well, um, leave me a comment down below or like the video and I'll probably see you there. So that's it for the video. So like I said, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe if you would like to see any more of my videos. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!